Hi there, uh, my name is Matt Davidson and I'm going to talk about A-B testing and some of the main things that you should keep in mind when you're running your own A-B tests. So first up, I travelled here all the way from Edinburgh in Scotland. Uh, <laughs> the company that I work for is a travel search website called Skyscanner where I pretty much spend most of my time writing JavaScript. Um, so last year, uh, Skyscanner had a bit of a problem with throughput. Uh, we made some organizational changes as a result, and eventually we began to structure ourselves um, around the Spotify squad model. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar, uh, basically at its heart, the Spotify squad model promotes service ownership. Uh, now, the service that my squad owns is the little UI widget that people use to enter in their flight search. To give you an idea of the scale, it gets one and a half million users every day. Uh, the only problem was that it was in a bit of a poor state of health and uh, it had problems with code ownership stretched across multiple squads. So it was about this time that we made the decision to rewrite the component and roll it out using an A-B test. Uh, at the same time, we thought it would be a good idea to introduce or rather sneak in some extra UI improvements at the very same time. We just made our very first mistake. Uh, it turns out uh, uh, we violated the very first rule in carrying out a fair experiment by uh, introducing more than one independent variable. Uh, when we rolled out to a small percentage of users, um, we found it really hard to pinpoint what was going wrong when the numbers didn't look good. We wasted uh, weeks of ruling out potential issues when, um, in actual fact, the real issue was something entirely different. Um, so that brings us on to our second uh, AB testing pitfall. We put way too much trust into our instrumentation. Um, so when we were looking at our KPIs, um, it was quite clear that there was something fundamentally wrong because the numbers were bad across the board. Uh, we were all we, we we wasted well we we spent some time looking at all the um, different browsers, device, OS combinations out there, um, and we were almost ready to throw in the towel uh, when we made one last ditch attempt at trying to figure out what was going wrong. As it turns out, we were being a little bit careless in how we were firing our search button click event. Um, so uh, basically, the, we, it wasn't taken uh, into account the time that's required for the request to succeed before the browser navigates. So once we fixed this, we rolled them out and noticed that the numbers started to creep up. And they kept creeping up. All along, the new search controls were actually converting better. So we were thinking, great. Let's roll out to uh, more users and monitor over the next few days. Not so fast. Um, as we were looking at other KPIs, we noticed that they started to suffer as a result, and therefore we weren't kind of given the go-ahead to roll them out. Uh, what followed was days of trying to figure out what we wanted our numbers to look like. Uh, so, um, and along the way, more inconsistencies started to crop up. These numbers didn't align here. Those numbers didn't align there. Um, so yeah, um, the underlying issue was the fact that we didn't uh, define, uh, well, we didn't have a concrete definition of success before we began the experiment. Uh, because we didn't define this, um, we started to look for problems. And of course, if you go looking for problems, the chances are you're going to find them. The main question is, uh, are they actually important? So to sum up, you need to be scientific in your experiments. You can only change one thing at a time. Otherwise, you won't be able to determine the good changes from the bad. Secondly, be skeptical in your instrumentation. If there's something that doesn't look right, uh, you need to double check your numbers. Spend time actually uh, testing your interactions and the events associated with them. And lastly, you need to define your success criteria up front. You need to know your business metrics inside out and decide on where you want them to go before you begin experimenting. That's all, folks. Cheers.